Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I'm coming to you from sunny Florida. I've been here for the last two weeks. I came to participate in the plain air paint out event at Wakiva State Park and I've stayed on for a week to visit some friends and family and to teach two one day workshops at the Castleberry Art House. We had a great time in Castleberry. We had a bunch of lovely ladies in a beautiful setting and I was really glad to be back there this week. I'm heading out tomorrow, and so I haven't had an opportunity to film a tutorial tidbit for this week, so I'm going to give you an extra special one. I'm going to be giving you a sneak peek into my current fashion plate portraits workshop that is now online with a lot of very talented students, and I'm going to cover the charcoal or pastel line art drawing. That was a big dog that lives here where I'm staying. Anyway, the charcoal pastel, uh, it's actually black pastel, but sometimes I refer to it as charcoal because it gives the effect of charcoal, but it's a black pastel line art drawing. And that is the um, technique I use to draw the faces in the fashion plate portraits. So you're in luck. You're going to get a sneak peek into that lesson, a taste of this online workshop, and that will be our tidbit for this week for today, Friday the 13th. So if you've got a few minutes, let's go check it out. So now that we've got our sketch, we're going to we're going to trace it with the charcoal. <clears throat> the charcoal is really uh, black pastel, but uh, some products call it charcoal uh, or whatever. But uh, you have the right thing if you have the black sticks. We want the sticks because we're going to take a new one and use it on the corner for a sharp line. And when we run out of sharp corners, we're going to snap it in half and have new sharp corners. Um, because sometimes when we want to make fine lines, we need to have a sharp corner so I'm gonna make sure I've got a nice new one um, when you're working with the charcoal uh, one thing you want to have on hand is baby wipes because uh, your fingers are gonna get really black really fast and you want to clean them off so that you're not smearing it all over the place so the baby wipes are rather indispensable so the idea now is to retrace your drawing um, first and foremost and then we'll blend in some dark areas but we're gonna retrace the drawing with the charcoal and when the corner is not sharp anymore we're gonna rotate corners and or we're gonna snap it in half and we're gonna get new new fresh sharp corners all right now I'm blending it to shade in her eyebrow and I'm gonna make sure that I know that this finger is dirty so I'm not gonna touch the board with it. But again, the baby wipes are your best friend if that happens. Now I'm going to want to keep my picture of Mia off to the side so that if there's some detailed areas where my transfer wasn't super clear and I need to see what's going on, I'm going to keep my big picture of Mia where I can see it so I can draw in the details that I'm missing. Now here's where the eraser comes in. We can erase out some highlights in her eyes and any excessive blending. Now I'm gonna use my finger to add some shading just by blending some of the charcoal lines, not all of them, but just where there would be shading. And again, if I get too much, I can come in and take it out with the eraser. Thank you. 
So here is my charcoal sketch. Now I can go back and forth and fuss with some of the shading, taking it out and adding it back in by blending it and even just bringing a dirty finger in here to sort of soften the edge of that nose and then I think it's too dark, I can lift it out with the eraser. So you're gonna push and pull and push and pull until you get a charcoal drawing that you like. Um, I swooped her hair out a bit more here. I think I might swoop it out a bit more here. This is where the embellishing comes in. I love Mia's long hair. I think that was part of what really interested me about this photo in the first place. She kind of reminds me of one of those Art Nouveau girls, so I'm definitely going to embellish the swoopingness of the hair. It's going to take up some of my composition. Let's bring a little piece out here just for fun. Then do a little research, uh, be inspired by some jewelry pictures, images online um, for some fun, colorful kind of shapes that I can do with her earring and uh, probably a necklace, and we'll go from there. Thank you.